Hello and welcome. This is Greg French. Um, today we're going to look at uh, Windows Task Manager and processes that might be running on your computer that might slow it down. Uh, biggest complaint I hear about computers is that it's just not running fast enough. It's running slow and it's getting slower. Well, all you need to do to see if there's any processes running that might be uh, contributing to a slowing Windows XP is press Control alt delete simultaneously and you'll have Windows Task Manager that will open up. Uh, in Windows Task Manager, the first thing you want to look at is your CPU usage. CPU usage should be about 0% if nothing is running. Right now I have Cam Studio running, so I've got about a 15% hit on my CPU. But that's not a whole lot. If I was to open up some other applications or programs, we could increase that considerably. Let me do that. Right now I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, Chrome browser and uh, going to open up uh, a YouTube YouTube window. YouTube is pretty busy. There's lots of graphics and things that help to kind of uh, cause the CPU to, to be pretty active. So we're up to about 69, almost 72%. I'll open up something else. I'm going to open up one of my antivirus program. And I'm going to go ahead and have it start scanning the computer. Now, right now I have AVG running, and it's doing a background scan on all my files. I also have Chrome running. Now, you can see that I've got pretty high usage on my CPU. Now, if I was to open up some other programs, I could max this out to 100%. And that would pretty much saturate uh, the bandwidth or saturate the performance that, uh, for this computer. If you notice also over here in my memory, I'll bring this down. Right down here, physical memory. I've got one gig in this laptop. But right now, uh, the system, uh, Windows is using about half of it. My other applications are, are using about half. But there's still about 400, uh, 400 uh, meg available. But I want to open up. I want to open up my processes right now. Uh, first, I'll open up applications. We can see right now I've got Cam Studio running. That's doing this recording. Uh, also, YouTube is running and uh, AVG. Under the processes, you want to look at processes to see if there's any processes that are might be running that you don't recognize. Move this up to the top. Uh, don't see right now. I got CPU usage. You can see that I got the AVG running. AVG is taking about 20% to 10% of the CPU usage. Coming down here, there's another file, uh, AVG, that's also running. This is the scan portion, taking about 16%. So between these two, we probably have 30 or 40% of the CPU usage. Keep going down here. See if we can pick up another one. Uh, 38%. That's pretty high. That's Chrome. Chrome has uh, opened a YouTube window. And again, YouTube is real busy with lots of graphics, lots of videos being displayed. And it's using an awful lot of the CPU. Uh, recorder, 13%. So I'm going to go ahead and shut down some of these processes and see if we can pick our performance back up. Okay, the first thing I want to do is uh, shut down AVG. Just do it in the process rule. This is sometimes not recommended because it might create other problems for your computer, but you can end this process just by highlighting it and ending it. It's going to give you a warning. Terminating this process can cause undesirable results. System instability, yes. Also want to shut down uh, maybe Chrome too. There's Chrome in that process. Same warning. Now let's go back to performance. See, now performance is pretty much returned uh, to what's pretty much normal uh, running this recording program. But again, uh, Windows Task Manager, nice little utility. Kind of shows you what's going on uh, with your Windows session. Uh, highly recommend that you, if you see Windows slowing down, open this up, take a look at what's going on. A little investigation, you might determine that maybe you have a problem that you might be able to correct. Also, if you have a virus or any kind of a worm attacking your computer, your CPU usage will generally run 
and you can look at the processes real quickly. Open up your processes. If you don't recognize the process, just Google it. Google will give you some information whether or not this is a legitimate program or a possible virus. Anyway, hope this helped you. Thank you very much for your time. Bye.